What's up everyone? Elohim here, and welcome back to the Key of Solomon. Today we will begin chapter 3, Concerning the Arts. If thou wishest to succeed, it is necessary to make the following experiments and arts in the appropriate days and hours with the requisite Solomon so, uh, tongue tied. I said this word just a minute ago, guys. Solemn and ceremonies contained and laid down in the following chapters. Experiments, then, are of two kinds. The first is to make trial of what, as I have said, can be easily performed without a circle. And in this case, it is not necessary to observe anything but what thou wilt find in the proper chapters. The second can in no way be brought to perfection without the circle. And in order to accomplish this perfectly, it is necessary to take note of all the preparations for the master of the arts and his disciples must undertake before constructing the circle. Before commencing operation, both the master and his disciples must abstain with great and thorough constraint during the space of nine days from sensual pleasures and from vain and foolish conversions. It is plainly apparent in the second book, chapter four, six of these nine have uh, having expired, he must recite frequently the prayer and confession as well as to be told, and on the seventh day the master being alone, let him enter into a sacred or a secret place, let him take off his clothes and bathe himself from head to foot in consecrated and exotic water, saying devoutly and humbly the prayer, O Lord, Adonia, etc. Literally, it says etc. after that. As it is written in the second book, chapter 2. The prayer being finished, let the master quit the water and put upon his fresh remnant of white linen cloth and unsoiled. And then let him go with his disciples unto a secret place and command them to strip themselves naked, and they have taken off their clothes, let them take <laughs> exercise water and pour it upon their heads so that it flows down to their feet and bathe themselves completely. And while pouring the water onto them, let the master say, Be ye regenerate, renewed, washed, and pure, etc. As in Book 2, Chapter 3. Which being done, the disciple must clothe themselves, putting upon their fresh, like their master, remnant of white linen cloth and unsoiled, and the three last days, the master and his disciples should fast, observing the Solonites and prayers marked in Book 2, Chapter 2. Note that the three last days should be calm weather without wind and without clouds rushing hither and thither over the face of the sky. On the last day let the master go with his disciples unto a secret fountain of running water or unto a flowing stream. And there let each of them taking off their clothes wash themselves with the solemnicity. Sorry, not a word I'm really familiar with there. Of course, there's a lot of those in this. This is a lot of old language. As is rehearsed in Book 2, And when they are clean and pure, let each put on his garments of white linen, pure and clean, using the prayer and ceremonies described in Book 2, after which let the Master alone say the confession. The which being finished, the Master in sign of petition will kiss the disciples on the forehead and each of them will kiss each other afterwards let the master extend his hand over the disciples and in sign of 
absolution, absolve and bless them, which being done, he will distribute to each of his disciples the instruments necessary for magical art, which he is to carry into the circle. The first disciple will bear the censer, the perfume, and the spice. The second disciple will bear the book, papers, pens, ink, and any striking or sorry, any stinking or impure material. The third will carry the knife and the sickle of magical art, the lantern and the candle, the fourth, the psalms, and the rest of the instruments, the fifth, the crucible or chaffing dish, and the charcoal or fuel. But it is necessary for the master himself to carry in his hand the staff and the wand or rod. The things necessary being thus disputed, the master will go with his disciples onto the assigned place where they will propose to be construct the circle of magical arts and experiments repeating on the way the prayers and ornations which thou wilt find in book two and golly this book is hard to read guys I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. And I'm probably going to mispronounce a lot. So I recommend buying a copy. When the master shall have arrived at the place appointed together with his disciples, he having lighted the flame of the fire and having exercised it afresh as it laid down in the second book, shall light the candle and place it in the lantern which one of the disciples is to hold, even in the hand to light the master at his work. Now the master of the art, every time that he shall have occasion for some particular purpose to speak with the spirits, must endeavor to form certain, to form certain circles which shall differ somewhat and shall have some particular reference to the particular experiment under consideration. Now, in order to succeed in forming such a circle concerning magical art, for the greater assurance and efficiency, thou shalt construct it in the following manner. <clears throat> the construction of the circle. Take thy knife, the sickle, or take the, thy the knife, the sickle, or the sword of magical arts. Consecrated after the manner and order which we shall deliver unto thee in the second book. With this knife or with the sickle of art, thou shalt describe upon the inner circle which thou shalt have already formed a second circle, encompassing the other at the distance of one foot therefrom, and having the same center within the space this space of a foot in breadth between the first and the second circumference lines. Thou shalt trace towards the four quarters of the earth the sacred and venerable symbols of the holy letter Teu. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. It is spelled T-A-U. And between the first and the second circle thou shalt thyself have drawn with the instrument of magical arts, thou shalt make four hexagonal pentacles, and between these thou shalt write four terrible and tremendous names of God. Viz. V-I-S. I'm just going to read this to you. Okay. Between the earth and the south, or sorry, between the east and the south of the superior name Iva, I guess, I-H-V-H, Tetragrammaton, between the south and the west, the essential tetragrammatic name, I-E, A-H-I-H, between the west and the north, mm -hmm. the name of power, Eleven. A-L-I-V-N. I still want to say Alvin right there. 
between the north and the east, the greater name Allah, A L H, which names are of superior importance in the list of the Sephiroth and their sovereign equal equivalents, or I'm not sure. Furthermore, thou shalt circumscribe about these circles two spheres, the angels of which shall be turned towards the four corners of the earth. And the space between the lines and the outer and inner sphere shall be half a foot. The extra angel uh, angels of the outer sphere shall be made the centers of the four circles. The measure or diameter of which shall be one foot. All those are to be drawn with the knife or consecrated instrument of art. And within these four circles thou shalt write these four names of God, the most holy one in this order. At the east, Al, A-L. At the west, I -h. At the south, Agla, A G L A. And at the north, Idni, A D N I. If I pronounce these wrong, I do apologize. Between the two sphere, or between the two squares and the names of the tetragrams is to be written in the same way as it is shown in the image. While constructing the circle, the master should recite the following psalms. Psalm 2, Psalm Live. Uh, these are Roman numerals and I suck at these, so yeah. I'll just make sure they're in the picture. Because that's a lot of psalms that they want you to read, and I'm not going to read them. I'm pretty sure there's a way around all that. Or he may as well recite them before tracing the circles. <laughs> hey, you do it while you're doing it, or you do it before. Okay, cool, whatever. If y'all haven't guessed, this book is steeped very much in Christianity mythology and similar religions. The witch being finished and the Fumigation being performed as is described in the chapter on fumigations. In the second book, the master should reassemble his disciples, encourage them, reassure them, fortify them, and conduct them in parts of the circle of art, which he must place them in the four quarters of the earth, encourage them, and extort them to fear nothing. And to keep in the places assigned to them. Also the disciples who is placed towards the east should have a pen, ink, paper, silk, and one cotton. All clean and suitable for the work. Why would you have to extort them to not be scared of stuff? Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I would just use instead of for dis, quote unquote disciples, I'd just get four friends who are equally skilled and do it. I mean, that's just me. Furthermore, each of the companions should have a new sword drawn in his hand besides the consecrated magical sword of art. He should keep his hand resting upon the hilt, therefore, and he should on no pretext quit the place assigned to him nor move therefore yeah I so would not use disciples for this after this the master should quit the circle light the fuel in the earthen pots and place upon them the censers of the four quarters of the earth and he should have in his hand the consecrated taper of wax he should light it and place it in a hidden and secret place prepared for it. Let him after this re-enter the circle, re-enter and close the circle. The master should afresh extort his disciples and explain to them all that they have to do what they have to do and to observe 
the which command they should promise and vow to exercise. Okay, I'm sorry, just using disciples sounds like a bad idea here. Such a bad idea. Okay, let the master then repeat this prayer. Prayer. When we enter herein with all humanity, let God all let God the Almighty One enter into this circle by the entrance of an eternal happiness of a divine prosperity, of perfect joy, of the abundant charity, and of eternal salutations. Let all the demons fly from this place, especially those who are opposed unto this work. And let the angels of peace assist and protect this circle, from which let discord and strife fly and depart. Magnify and extend upon us, O Lord, thy most holy name, and bless our conversation and our assembly. Sanctify, O Lord, our God, our humble entry herein. Thou the blessed and holy one of the eternal ages. Amen. Okay. Um, okay, guys. Um, if, if with the fact that this is all steeped in you know Christianity, some Judaism, probably you know maybe Catholicism, which in my opinion is Christianity, uh, just another branch of it. Uh, maybe even some Muslim in here. Who knows? I haven't studied Muslim extensively. Um. If you're calling Yahweh into a circle, why would you have to demand that the demons be sent away? Because according to their belief, the Christian belief, Yahweh's all powerful, so he could kick any of them out if he wanted to. He could stop any of them from stopping you. And <sighs> why do you need angels to protect him? Can he not fight his own fights? Who knows? All right. Uh, sorry, got a little off topic there. Let's get back to the book. Here's another prayer. O oh Lord God, all-powerful and all-merciful, thou who desires not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, give and grant unto us thou grace by blessing and consecrating this earth and this circle, which is here marked out with the most powerful and holy names of God. And okay, guys, I'm going to stop here. Um, I'm calling this series to an end. Uh, some of this I'm just trying not to crack up at. I'll go ahead and put the picture, though, that was uh, in this chapter up in the video. Uh, but I'm going to hand this book off and let Lilith do it at some point. Because she can get through this with a straight face reading it aloud. I can get through it, but if I read it aloud, I'm going to bust out laughing. And the bad part is, is there is really good knowledge in this book. You just have to strip away all the religious aspects of it. So, in the future, keep an eye on Lilith's channel for the book. Um, I do want to apologize that I'm having to stop it here due to the fact that I can't read this with a straight face with all the religious stuff, at least not out loud. I've read the book, most of it. I've got further than this and didn't crack up laughing. But reading it out loud, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna laugh myself to death probably. I do want to thank y'all for watching though. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're watching this on Lilith's channel, because I do give these videos to her to put up on hers as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed. 
subscribe to her. She has a lot more content like this and will be doing this book at some point in the future. Uh, she will probably also do the sequel book, The Goetia, or The Lesser Keys of Solomon. Look forward to that one. That's a good one. I do want to thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.